Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. This is my first review of anything on YouTube, so bear with me. Uh, I'm going to jump right into the hardware of the mice and not really talk too much about packaging or about the drivers or software. Uh, I just want to talk about what I like about the mice and what I don't like. This is the Logitech G400. This is the mouse I started gaming on probably about three years ago. Um, it's solidly built. It works very well. Um, it's really clicky. I like that about it. The DPI adjustments really easy. Um, the buttons on the side are very clicky as well and they're in a good position for how I grip the mouse. Um, I always like this mouse. The reason I'm getting rid of it is because it started having disconnect issues with the cord. I think the, co the cord is starting to fray and it's starting to disconnect where it connects to the mouse. Um, so when I was losing a couple rounds because my mouse disconnected in CSGO, that was when I realized I need a new mouse. Um, I like this mouse a lot. I don't really want to get rid of it. It has a shape that people either love or hate, I think. Um, and it fits my uh, fingertip slash uh, palm grip pretty well. Um, I usually grip a mouse where I, my fingers are really long, as you can see. Uh, I usually grip the mouse with my fingertips and like sort of my palm just resting on the top of the mouse. Um, so that's kind of like the guideline of what I'm using to, to judge whether or not I like these, uh, just based on my hybrid grip style. Um, so moving on, the first mouse that I looked at buying was the Zowie FK2, which is this guy. It's the revision with the white scroll wheel and the white logo. Um, it's a good mouse, I will say, um, but it's a good mouse if you have smaller hands. I have really big hands and it tends to just swallow up the mouse. Um, it's a little bit too small for my tastes. Uh, if I could go back in time, I would have ordered the FK1, which I know is a little bit bigger, so that might suit you guys better. Um, it's got two buttons on the side, on each side, uh, two and two there, um, and it has the scroll wheel, obviously, as a button itself, and it has pretty sturdy, um, solid clicks uh, for the left and right mouse buttons. Uh, it feels pretty good when you click it. Um, I notice that it's a little bit stiffer than the EC1A, which is this one here. Um, and I like the mouse, I just wish it was a little bit bigger, and I might try to get the FK1, uh, but at this point I've spent like almost $200 on mice and I don't really want to spend any more. So um, I'll be sending this one back. What I do like about it is the fact that it's plug and play and you just select your DPI uh, by pushing this button on the bottom. I don't have it plugged in right now, but you can see it on the next Zowie mice that I'm about to show, uh, the next Zowie mouse. Uh, but this one is just, you just click the button, uh, 400 DPI, 800 DPI, 1600, and 3200. Um, and I play CSGO primarily, so I stick to 800 DPI, and I'm a low sensitivity player, so I'm moving my mouse around a lot. Um, and this is good for that because it's so light, and you can see the skates are really big, so it glides very well. And also what I like about it is it has a very, um, I don't, forgive me if I say this wrong, but I think it's called liftoff distance, where if you uh, lift the mouse off the table, it's going to stop tracking immediately. It has a very, very low threshold of, uh, of height where it will still work. So if, as soon as you bring it up off the table, it'll stop tracking, which is great uh, when you're making sharp turns and you want to stay accurate. Um, next mouse is the EC1A, which is this one. Um, as you can see, it's purple, the purple scroll wheel, which is something I don't really like, unfortunately, because uh, purple is the color that they uh, assign to the 800 DPI level. So whenever I'm gaming, uh, it's always purple, which is just, the, that's just a taste thing. Uh, you could like it, you could not like it. Um, but again, it's the same situation where you adjust the DPI on the bottom of the mouse with this button here. Uh, so this is 800 DPI, it was purple. Click it again, it goes blue for 1600 and 3200 is green. I don't know anyone who would ever use 3200, that's just way too fast. Um, but then you click it one more time and you go back to 400 and that is red. Um, the mouse is really nice, it's built really well, it's a very light, just like the FK2. Um, the buttons are very clicky, uh, which is really good, which is something I like. They're very, you can hear it, I mean, you just hear the click and you can kind of tell how clicky it is based on the sound. Um, it's very similar to the FK2, um, and it, which is also in turn similar to the G400, which is why I like these Zowie mice. They have a very similar stiff click to them, which is it's really satisfying. Um, especially when you have a headset on and you can't hear the click, you can still feel it really well with your fingers, and that was something that I noticed that Zowie mice do really well. Um, and that's something that I noticed that the Steel Series rival doesn't do very well, and I talk, I'll talk about that in a second. 
Um, the EC1A uh, has two buttons on the side. It's an ergonomical shape. I'm sure you're aware of that. It fits pretty well in my big hand. Um, but I think it's a little bit too big for me. I don't know. It's a personal taste. I haven't gotten quite used to it yet. This is the mouse that I like the best out of all of these four uh, based on the shape. Um, other than that, it has the same similar liftoff uh, distance characteristics as the Z uh, Zawi FK2, whereas where you're, you know, you're, you're still going to remain pretty accurate when you lift your mouse a lot to move it around. Um, and it's just a, just an easy mouse to pick up and use. Uh, it plug and play again, like the FK2, which is nice. Um, and I think I'll move on to the rival now, which is the mouse that I like the least, unfortunately. I, I really don't like this mouse. Um, it has a rubberized coating, which I don't really like the feel of. Um, your hand does stick to it a little bit better, which is good. Um, this one is a little bit slippery, but I'd kind of want something in between the two um, coatings. This one's a little bit too slippery. This one's a little bit too tacky. Um, I also don't really like the the rubber on the sides. It's just a feel. It's just a taste of mine that I just I just don't really like it. Um, it's that bumpy texture you can see. Um, it just doesn't feel good to me. Uh, also, the buttons on the side feel really cheap. That you can kind of hear. Um, they just they just don't have a good solid feel to me. I don't, I don't, I'm just not a big fan. Um, it, also, the shape of it is very odd. Um, the shape of it, it's kind of too fat at the butt end of the mouse, where it doesn't really lend itself to any grip style that I use. Um, it's, it sits in my hand, and the palm, like, my palm rests too much on the base of the mouse, which is what I don't like. And the slope of it, it's sloped down really far, so that my fingers kind of, like, go down farther than that what feels good to me. It, it's just, it doesn't really fit my grip style, and that's why I don't like it. Um, it also has a little bit of a cheaper feel overall than the Zowie Mice. Um, it is solidly built, I will say that, but I just think the materials they use uh, are just not the best. Um, the scroll wheel does feel really nice. I do like the scroll wheel. Um, and I do like, the obviously, the illumination. The lighting looks great. You can change it to whatever color you want, uh, which is cool. But again, it's just kind of a gimmick. Like, when you're gaming, you're not going to look down at your mouse and look at what color it is. Um, so that is my review of all of these. Um, this one does have a DPI switch on the top. You can only toggle between two DPIs that you set in the driver software. That might change with some updates, I'm not really sure. But um, the mouse skates are a lot smaller. It doesn't glide as well as the Zowie. Um, this is the new Rival 300. This is the latest model. Um, so you won't see any of the grip uh, breaking issues that you saw in previous uh, versions of the mouse. I know they fixed that, and this, this is the new model that addresses that. Um, it does look cool, yes, but overall, if you want a mouse that feels really good in your hands, has really solid clicks, um, I would recommend the Zowie mice, um, any of them really, whichever one you, fits your play style, or whichever one fits your grip style. Um, oh, one last thing that I wanted to say about the Steel Series Rival is when you click it, it's kind of mushy. I don't know if you can hear that, to hear the difference. It kind of bottoms out and you kind of hit like something hard. And on the Zowie, you kind of have a different, more clicky actuation. I'm not really sure how to correctly say that, but um, that's just my my thought on these two mice in particular. This one feels more clicky. This one feels kind of mushy, and it kind of like pushes down, and you can't really hear it. You can't really feel when it when the click happens. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, this one you very can very easily tell when you click it when the click is actually happening as your finger goes down. And this one kind of like mellows out and kind of mushes down. I don't really know exactly when you clicked it. Um, I think it's just a lighter switch versus what I'm used to, which is the G400, which is very, uh, very easy to tell when you've clicked the mouse. Because often when you're gaming, you have your headset on, you can't hear the click. Um, this is just a, a thing that I've noticed when I first picked up these mice is that, you know, I really like to feel that click feeling. Um, so I think that's about it. Uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think. This is, again, my first video, so it probably was pretty crappy, but I uh, hope that gives you guys a better idea of what these mice are all about. And this is just my personal opinion. You guys might hate it. You guys might love it. Uh, it's totally up to you. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for checking in.